You're taking a look at an 1850s schoolhouse in Ohio. Join Dave and I as we metal detect this and find some goodies. Okay, I just called Dave over. Uh, it's my first signal. Looks dime-sized. Um, it's the first plug I've dug in a long time. Mm -hmm. And I just caught the tail end of whatever this is. Oh, yeah. Right there. See it right here? So. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Okay. Here we go. What? What is it? It says one dime on the back, so it's going to be seated or a barber. Seated or a barber. Here we go. It's seated! Yes! <laughs> it's seated. Uh, seated. Look at that! <laughs> That's awesome. 1877, does it say? 57. Oh. All right, I'm not going to clean clean it right now, but Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Well, that's a good sign. Yep. Ooh, that's so pretty. So pretty. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Uh found something kind of weird. I don't know what it is. And uh it's got some word. It's got some words on it. It might be a bale seal. I'm not sure. It's heavy, and you can see that it has some something printed on the top. But uh, I'm going to give it to Dave, and maybe we'll come up with something. But it seems like it's lead for sure. All right, Dave's over there, and I found a couple different things. A little rivet, old little rivet, very deep. Um, but look what I found here. It came out great. This looks like a piece of lead that was made into a, a die. If you can see. But I can't make out any of... It looks like there's a maybe a letter on this. I'll try to clean this off here. can't tell I have to look at it a little bit better but look at that how cool is that definitely lead that was made into some sort of a, <clears throat> a dice that or a die that people would play in a game or something like that we are an old school house so I don't know cool all right Dave is uh detecting right next to me we're kind of passing each other and Dave had a very deep signal, nickel signal, and he thinks he found a pocket watch. Not a watch, a knife. I mean a pocket knife. I'm sorry, a pocket knife. Oh, definitely. It's not that old, though. It has writing on the inside of it. Huh. Is it wood? No, it's like plastic, and you can see through it, and it's got writing in it. Huh. Oh, yeah. It's got a name. Look at that. Manufactured by cast iron and something metal. Culvert pipe. Very cool. And it looks like it might have some writing on the back too. Yep. It has writing manufactured by and it might be Galleon, Ohio. Um very cool awesome great find all right i guess it's my turn and here it is i got a pocket knife and uh looks like there's it's almost like open tons of crud on it Yeah, Dave's got a, this may be older, but Dave's got a, a little bit, I wouldn't say better, but he just has one that he could probably clean up a little easier. This, uh, the knife blade seems like it's out, and that rusted up. All right, well, we'll keep plugging away here. 
Okay, well, I think I found a bale seal. It uh, definitely looks like a bale seal. I don't know what the inscriptions are. Uh, there's a little, little bit of rust on the back of it, though, so I'm not sure. I have uh, a little bit more inscription on the back. Or who knows what the back or the front is, but I don't know. Pretty sure this is a bale seal. All right. There's a lot of good stuff here. Moving on. See it? All right, so... I got a coin here, and uh, it was it was 19, 18 and 19, so typically those are Indians. So, it's, I don't know, let's find out. Uh-oh, I think I see Abe. Nope. No, it's an Indian. Awesome. Sweet. Let me get a date. Whoops. Oh, that'll clean up nice too. Here, let's. Yeah, it looks so, nine, 1897. Nice. Sweet. I haven't found Indian in a long time. All right. <laughs> cool. I'll take it. All right. We moved over to right next door to the the old schoolhouse on this side, and I found something pretty deep. And it looks like it's lead, and it has some iron in the middle of it so i have no idea what this might have been if it was used to to conduct uh if it was a some sort of a seal for something so whoops uh, it's about the size of a quarter if you guys could find out what it is i'd appreciate it days that called coin and uh it's well looks Oh, it's in the... Oh, you never know. It could be a weedy. Looks like a... It's a, it's a weedy. Weedy? Give it, what's the date? Uh, boy, that side's pretty bad. Here's where we're at. 1920. Good. Two? Awesome. Here, let me see. Thank. Yeah, 1920 something for sure. Let's see if I can. Definitely 1920 something. All right, I've just been hanging out. <laughs> Right by these trees here, on the other side of this over here, I found that Indian head. I got another 1920 here and just pulled it out. And I don't, I don't know. It looks like it could be actually a weedy. And it is. It, yeah, it's a weedy. It is a weedy, I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe, and I believe, actually, it, I can't tell, I gotta clean this up, I don't have any jeans, oh, it has to be a weedy because I see that on the back, oh no, it's an Indian, yep, I think an Indian, either Indian, let me see the, if there's a shield on top, but you can see that. Let me clean it up real quick and get back to you. All right, I cleaned it up, and it is. It's a 1903 Indian head. It's in great con It's full liberty. It's in great condition. Used a little toothpick to clean it up. I could pick that side later. All right, it's just been hovering around these bushes. <laughs> All right, moving on. I think it's another bale seal. I'm not really sure. I think this is my third one today. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's got the letter B on it or whatever. And then on the back, it has a little. But it's definitely, it has iron in it. And I, I'm not sure if that's what, if that's how it comes. But that's what I got. I'll take it. All right.
just along this line. I, that's all I found. All the coins were around these trees. And I'm, I did not look at it, honest to God, but I, I noticed that it was kind of in the sidewall or right here. And oh. and I I may have just scratched the crap out of it. Unless it, you know, came out of here. But I see stars around it. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to turn it over. And it... It is a rosy, a rosy, a rosy silver rosy. Hmm. I haven't found a silver rosy in a long, 51! <laughs> <laughs> I'll take 51. That's cool, man. All right. Oh, my favorite year of anything. Anything ending in 51. Okay. I'll take some silver moving on. Okay. Right next to where I found the Roosevelt, I uh, got another amazing signal. And look at that. I think I got a silver ring. Might be. Getting a phone call too. Uh, yeah, it is. It is definitely silver. Look at that. I gotta answer this call. Hold on. <laughs> okay, right over there was my Rosie. And then I got another deep signal. It's, I mean, it's. All of, you know, what, probably nine, ten inches. I mean, but here it is. And it's a greenie on the outside. Where are you? There you are. Let's see what it, I think it's going to be an Indian, to be honest with you. Um, a little crusty. A little crusty. All right, pant rub time. Um... Man, I can't tell. I swear I see you. Do you? Yeah. Maybe not. Alright, I guess I'm going to clean it up and get right back to you. Alright, it is going to be an Indian. And, uh, but, let's see if it'll focus here. But, I don't know the date. It's like a no-dater. It's pretty, uh, pretty sh crappy. <laughs> There's the one cent if you could see it. And you could just make out the bottom of the Indian head. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's three Indian heads today. Alright, so I got another coin. And uh, you probably see it right here. And it's green. Now this came up lower than the other ones. Whoops, let me switch here. This came up a little bit lower on my Knox. Man, this, it's just like the same, same thing that, uh, I got to clean this off again. All right, um, this is definitely an Indian, and I think it's 1883. Uh, let's see if I can get a better focus on this. There we go. 18-something three, you probably can see it. All right. God, that's pretty cool. See ya. Take a look at all that trash. You guys do that too. <laughs> I got to clean clean up my back of my truck. All right. Good to get out. Yes. Good to get out. Nice um, day. Hey, if you want a snake skin, see Jolene for snake skins. Digging deep beeps. That's where I got mine. They found a couple Wheaties. Uh, how many? Two Wheaties and a Memorial. Wheaties. And then this really cool really cool pocket watch with some words inside and then i dug um i did dug, dig another pocket watch too these right. four yeah pocket knife i keep saying pocket watch because you found that gold one with braxton yeah. yeah uh little winder don't know take a look at this this is pretty funny it's supposed to i found both pieces i guess it goes like this and it's a dog so i don't know where that would have come from but Man, I, I, man, I got lucky today. Um, I don't know what these are. These, these might be bale seals, but I definitely need help. A uh, little button, a little lead die, I believe. Um, 1887, no date, 
1903, 1897, uh, and then on 1951, and then a uh, 1877. And let's see if there's an. And it's a CC on the back, CC. All right, so great day, and uh, we definitely had fun, that's for sure. It's always nice to get out and dig. Um, yeah. Until next time. Yep. Keep on digging. See ya. Bye. <laughs>